Welcome to a new video on using Wolfram Mathematica. And today I'm going to show you how to evaluate limits. I have here a simple list of four limits that I'm interested in evaluating. The first one is very simple, and it's pretty clear that we should just use uh, biotic substitution. As x approaches 1, we expect to get a value of 5. Let me do this. So the Mathematica function for that or command is rather intuitive. You just write out the word limit then the function that you're interested in evaluating its limit as the variable x approaches 2. Notice how I just press in minus and then greater than sign. As soon as I press on the space bar, this automatically converts into an arrow, and then I could write the value 1 and evaluate my limit, getting indeed the expected value of 5. Let me do the same for this limit. So here we have a quotient function, 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. And then I would highlight my numerator and choose the division sign and then x minus 2. Again, as x approaches infinity, the way to input infinity would be pressing on your escape button on the keyboard and then writing i n f. And then once again on escape, this automatically changes into infinity. And as you evaluate the limit, you get a value of infinity. The One of the easiest way of doing this instead of using Mathematica would be, well, we could do well, we could easily use L'Hopital's rule. This is one easy way of doing it. And for this limit, sine x of x over x as x approaches 0, I'm showing you already in the lecture how to... Uh, how this limit evaluates to zero geometrically. And we've seen it done in a different way also. You could also do use L'Hopital's rule, or you could try to evaluate it here, writing sine of x, right, and then divide it by x as x approaches zero. This should give us the value of one, which it does indeed. And finally, for the last one, limit, 1 minus the cosine of x divided by x. As x approaches 0, this is one example where I did in the lecture also, and it evaluates to 0 here as well as in the lecture. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've got to learn something from it.